Hello, my awesome and amazing Sagittariuses. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. If you are a Sagittarius dealing with a Leo, then this reading might be for you. Take the messages how they resonate. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Sagittarius viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Actually, going to use this other deck here first. Here we go. Um, let's see here. Rolling the dice in order to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number nine. Power of number nine again. And Sag, you do rule over the ninth house of the zodiac. Oops. There goes my dice. Power of number eight, okay. So it looks like we are going to the number 26, number 26, okay. <clears throat> we could see the Hermit card kick in, possibly the Strength card, which would represent Leo energy. We could also see the Lover's card along with the High Priestess. Sag, you could have felt like this Leo was hiding some secrets from you. Um, I do feel that the two of you could have it almost kind of feels like there was a whirlwind relationship that was going on. I mean, the chemistry, the fireworks, everything just kind of pop, 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 you know. Um, some of you could feel that this connection between you and this Leo was like love at first sight. There's just so many things that you could connect on, etc. But yet this Leo could be in hermit mode or maybe you're in hermit mode with this Leo only for the mere fact that, you know, you could feel that they're not stepping up their A game. Okay. It could very well be true. So let's take a look. <clears throat> Power of number 26, Sagittarius versus Leo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. <clears throat> Trusted ancestors of my Sagittarius viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please? What does Sagittarius need to know about this Leo right now? Show me what's up. The Four of Wands, Twin Flame Soulmate 1111 Connection. Like I said, you could have felt like this was a very strong connection that you've had with this Leo, okay? Again, it could feel like love at first sight or you just feel like maybe the two of you are destined to be together, but this can also talk about marriage and commitment. Massive major marriage and commitment. So them stepping up their A game. Ten of Pentacles. Congratulations. I love that energy. Feels like they want to come rushing towards you. This might even be a newer connection that you've been questioning. You know, maybe you feel sad. So it's a little bit too good to be true. But good relationships and healthy relationships are out there. Okay. So. It could very well be true that this Leo wants to, you know, either dive into the deep end or push or move forward with you, okay? They could just be very passionate, but don't, you know, don't let them rush you into anything that you might not be ready for. You know, maybe they may be rushing you to move in and try to get married right away and all of this. If you're not quite there just yet, Sag, take your time. Take your time, you know? If you feel like you need to kind of pace this out a bit, because I feel both of you have gone through tumultuous relationships with other people outside of this connection. So right now you could be thinking like, you know, I, I want to build up that foundation with Leo, but it looks like th this is their energy unto you. Okay. So they're showing me steadfast and true. This is the type of energy I want to see come into a romantic reading okay 
if you are dealing with this Leo or this Leo is considered more past tense, I'm going to go into the Hidden Truth Oracle on them. I replay your conversations over and over again. So they are being very highly reminiscent of your energy, even if they have been in no contact with you. I don't react when people mention you. A lot of you could have had like same social circle of friends. There could have even been a point in your connection where maybe Leo introduced you to his friends or his family members and vice versa. You could have introduced this Leo to friends or family. So right now, if they if they're playing like a, a good, strong poker face right now, they want to admit that they're becoming a better person. So hence another reason why they could be wanting to rush in in order to renew the situation with you. Wow, there you are, Sag, coming in as the queen of wands, male or female, doesn't matter. No, this is like feeling like total empowerment right now, or they are feeling good about your energy, okay? So with the moon card in the reverse on the bottom of the deck, this can also talk about possibly this Leo now finally opening up and expressing emotions where maybe you have witnessed or experienced in your observation of them that they were suppressing maybe suppressing some emotions, et cetera. Um, this Leo could also be well-to-do. They can also be uh, an entrepreneur. They could have their own home-based business. Maybe they run a very powerful company, whatever the case may be. They're showing me that, you know, they're steadfast and true, but for some of you guys, you went through some tumultuous situations with this Leo. But right now, you might have had to learn how to take your power back, you know, especially if there's been radio silence. You know, you could have been putting this Leo so far on a pedestal, and yet you were keeping your energy down here. So now it's like, I feel like the tables have got to turn around, or maybe they are turning around to where you're up here now, Sag, you know, so... Mm, this Leo could be heavily spying in on you, Page of Swords, okay? Um, they could be even trying to ward off other people from coming in your direction, so they might be a little bit possessive of you, um, you know... Some of their ways, when somebody's coming in as a page, this can also show me too that their intentions might be a little bit premature or their attitude or behavior or their communication skills could be a little bit immature, if not a lot, okay? Yeah, something in like their energy, like you are haunting their energy, possibly late at night. So they, if they're be trying to become a better person, either they're getting some kind of downloads at night or they're just feeling restless or they're scrolling through their phone or old messages or something like that. They're replaying their conversation. So this Leo in truth is thinking about commitment with you, Sag. Okay. They're thinking heavily about it. Religious factors. Okay. Your love life uh, is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Now, some of you guys could have had a religious difference. That could very well be true. However, I don't necessarily feel that that is the main theme here as to the reason why for some of you guys are not, you know, in communication. This is more to me on a soul level. You've been waiting, Sag, for the right partner that's going to meet and match you on every level, especially a spiritual level. So for you, your observation could be like this Leo had this strong spiritual soul tie and you capturing the vision of seeing the future with them. But again, they're right now they're coming in as a page, but they have some strong intentions here. Preferably, I want to see them come in as a king or a queen or an emperor or an empress. So either this is a newer phase, a, a new situation that hasn't quite been established. 
So there could be, I'm also picking up that some of you guys were having really long conversations on the phone, like either text messages or actually literally talking on the phone for hours, like maybe even in the middle of the night, just going from subject matter to subject matter to subject matter. Okay. Yeah, control issues. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. You could be feeling a little stressed out. Some of you guys may be wondering if your Leo's going to come back and reconcile. Yes, they will. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning back into your life. But they need to bring something here of substance, which, yes, they're bringing in substance with the Ten of Pentacles. That is true. But there's also wisdom and discernment to be had. Okay, when you're getting together with, with this, like a fire element and you're a fire element, okay, that's a lot of heat. And so when you're with the same like element, you know, even if you were with an Aries or another Sag, okay, it is going to have to be about compromise. And maybe you have been trying to do your best to do that. Maybe, you know, maybe calm down in your direction or you're waiting for Leo to calm down in their direction. I kind of feel like slow and steady wins the race because you don't want the fire to burn out and feel like this Leo is, you know, taking advantage of you and only coming in your direction for one thing, which honestly, I don't have an ace of wands and they're not exactly coming in as the knight of wands, but in past prior circumstances, they could have been very much in and out of your life, or again, this could have been a friends with benefits situation, which didn't feel or seem like it was mounting up to anything, okay? So their intentions, <clears throat> their intentions are strong, but the way they're going about doing things right now, it's a page level. We don't want that. We, <laughs> we want to see them come in as a, like a higher status, okay? So, but yet they're having some kind of, possessive. They feel like they own you <clears throat> a little bit. It's like they don't want you being with anybody else. Trusted ancestors, how are they, how is this Leo going to prove to Sag that they want to be with them? <laughs> They're going to try to divide and conquer over you, I guess, or just try to win you over. Five of swords. So that kind of tells me that, you know, they might have been in conflict or you could have had a lot of arguments with this Leo for some of you guys. Um, looks like rapid fire communication coming in from out of the distance. So it could be an unexpected text message. But in truth, they need to court and date you properly. There needs to be consistency with going out, building the foundation. Sag, if this Leo still continues to be very inconsistent, Drop them like a hot potato. Do not feel guilty about it. Or if you decide not to do that, then you need to come to terms whether or not you're going to manifest for this Leo to come in and give you that full blown out commitment. And the only way that is going to be the fastest way is through guided meditations for your situation. Use guided meditations for where you're at now in order to get to the next phase. So could it be safe to say that you can go ahead and start manifesting for commitment, a guided meditation for commitment or marriage? Yes, because I have the energy twice. The energy twice. If you feel they owe you an apology before you can think about the long term with them right now, then uh, listen to a guided meditation to get them to apologize to you or to have them beg you back, correct the energy, etc. Plenty of guided meditations out there through many law of attraction, uh, law of assumption coaches on YouTube. Okay. So right now, keep your vibration up here. Don't put the Leo up here right now until they actually bring that substance forward. Okay. In the meantime, you keep doing your thing. They are going to come in with some kind of communication, but your energy is haunting them. And then it's like probing them to rush towards you because we saw that knight of swords on the bottom of the deck so 
My awesome Sagittariuses, stick around to my channel. If you are dealing maybe with a different zodiac sign besides the Leo, be sure to uh, hit the like button or subscribe button um, to receive notifications as to when, <clears throat> either if I go live or just new videos being uploaded to the channel. But until next time, take care.